as musicians tiptoeing playfully along the analog, digital divide, metronomy sum up pop music's conflicted relationship with technology. In the mid-2000s, they were the epitome of an electronic act, three guys behind electric keyboards, playing to a laptop backing track. NME described their second album as an electro record featuring synthetic Tetris Wong Pop and Psycho Speed synths, and they became famous for performing with pressure sensitive lights strapped to their chests, a comic touch that seemed to announce that they were a band of the digital age, and not afraid to laugh about it. Since then, however, Metronomy seemed to have moved steadily back in time. After recruiting a drummer and bassist in 2009, the band began appearing in matching uniforms, rich burgundy blazers, pressed white slacks, as if to summon memories of the Temptations or early Beatles photographs, and their music took on a more period tint. The transformation culminated in the release of their fourth album, Last Year's Love Letters. I think the paranoid part of me thought that people had preconceptions about a band like Metronomy, says frontman Joe Mount, that we were just a modern band, that anyone could make that kind of music. I wanted to prove something to myself as well. Comprising ten rowdy, yearning love songs, each from a single recorded take, Love Letters was recorded at Toe Rag, a studio in East London equipped with antique eight-track tape recorders a mixing desk from the late 1950s and no computer screens at all. A strange achievement for a band once considered part of the new rave scene.